What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Marvel's Midnight Sun. So guys, uh, let's go and resume uh, the video here, which I decided to cut into two parts. The first part was the previous video, and this video here is the second part. And the reason why I'm I'm cutting it in half is, is because I, I realized I was recording too long. I was very much immersed into the into the battle. But yeah, let's go back to it guys. Here we go. Hey, look at that man. Hmm. Yeah, if I want, I can do this. You got plenty of heroism, so it's not bad. Yeah, I can't do any more. And yeah, just these four, hopefully it's okay. Okay. Yeah, they get some health back, but I think it's fine. Okay, okay. Wow, why is he so far away, man? Okay, let me go and shatter the pillar. It's gonna summon reinforcements. Oh, jeez, look at all these guys. And a debt of blood shall be paid. Cathon will rise. Another big guy here. Convincing her. You know what you have to do. Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's see what we can do about this. Um. Do a quick strike. Let me do a quick strike on. Well, maybe not you. Dude, I wish I had Bladestorm right now. <laughs> Bladestorm would have been nice. Oh, we can also do a, a cool slide like that. If I feel like it. But I don't have anyone on, anyone on this side. Wow, max HP increased? That's a thing? I don't know if that was a thing. Um, hmm. I can, go, I can do it like this. Yeah? Nice. Hmm. I would I would need to get blade out of there, I think. Blade. Hmm. Let's do a quick on someone. Yeah, I don't think I can deal with this guy right now. I mean, I can finish off one of these guys, too, if I feel like it. Um, How's my bands of fire? Hold on. Okay, I just want to get rid of those uh, duplicating guys, because I feel like they're so dangerous. So let me go for a quick strike on this guy. Move like that once, okay. And then I can do this. Take out these guys, because they're the most dangerous ones. 
or one of the most dangerous. You were too weak for this fight. Okay, then if I want, I can do some redraws. We should keep that hero combo. What if like the last pillar, Hulk will come in? Maybe I should save this just in case that might happen. Uh, let me redraw that. Maybe uh, redraw this. Should be fine too. And my turn. That's fine. That's not that bad. Okay. Sarah. Known reinforcements. It's been far too long. Don't speak as if you know me, demon. You haven't been my sister for centuries. It saddens me to hear you say that. But there's still time for hmm. you to see things his way. No one calling themselves a midnight sun will ever join your corrupted ranks. I promise you that. Okay, what do I do here? Because I feel like I want to go with Blade all the way. Because I think he can take down... Hey, can you take down this person? Because I think you can. Like if I have maybe Blade push him over here. I mean, yeah, I just feel like I can. But I don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Yeah, 65, but, the, but not increased damage. Hmm. Oh, wow, I just realized I've been recording um, over the limit. <laughs> My usual limit, so... Uh, yeah, this video will be cut into two, into two parts. I was just immersed in, in the experience right now. Okay, let me go and push you here. Yeah, I was like well immersed into the game. A vulnerable. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Wait, yeah, I can do this. 103. Okay, how much does the slash do then? Uh, not that much. It is a forceful knockback though. Wait, that does a lot of damage. Hold on, maybe we can do this, so I can also draw a card. Then I can do this. No mercy for the servants of Willem. Hey. Your mother abandoned. I'll summon in, in the, the next turn. Or like, yeah, the Shatter Pillar next turn. Let me redraw and get the heroism, why not? Hmm. If I want, I can recover his health. And let me see what, what this looks like. We never summon a drop with, with, with a Ghost Rider here, so... I just want to see what this looks like. Oh, so that's the drop. Yeah, after all this time, after all this time, that's my first drop summon. Okay, I guess I'll, um... Hmm. Maybe I can redraw this. I think it's fine. Alright, end my turn. <laughs> wow, look at them. Oh, that was a good thing I, I did the drop. So they still target him. Wow. Even though he's not there. Lilith may have found the one man or monster capable of withstanding the dark energies of that book long enough to fully restore it. Winner's been nothing but trouble since this whole thing started. We both know what it is like to have a power that others desire, Blade. Maybe. But I don't rip my clothes off and go berserk whenever I'm in a bad mood. 
Okay, hold on. What if we do this? What if we shattered a pillar really quick? And then we just go heroic combo on. Okay, no Hulk. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought maybe Hulk might might come to the field. Yeah, so what if we just go all out against this guy? And yeah, we just do this. Nice. And then we can do this. <laughs> it's so cool. And then yeah, we just we just gotta take the hits for this turn. I should have done a move to maybe get rid of a couple, but it's fine. So yeah, we should win next turn, right? Alright. I think we win. Nice. Yep, all pillars are gone. That barrier is still holding. Neither tenebris reverses as nobody. Get out of there now! You've done more than anyone could ask. Almost. Yo, demon lady. One thing before we go. This is for Johnny Blaze. Oh, snap. No! This spell must not be interrupted! Now we may leave. Mother. Your mother died centuries ago. <laughs> Why am I so... I mean, yeah, it, it, it is our mother, but... I mean, we, we, we've, we've done this before, right? I thought we would we would uh, lost all emotions for our mother by then, if we've done this before. All right, nice. Yeah, not too bad of a mission. Once again, the hunter man, dude, it's so good with the shield, it's so good. Just getting to block and to fortify. Yeah, the whole fortify stuff is so good. Yeah, I've been having a fun time with that. But yeah, we'll see what we do next. And yeah, once again, this video might be chopped up into two parts because I was fully immersed into the into the battle, man. But I didn't realize I was recording for that long. Wait, yeah, let's see what we, what, we, what we got to do next. I think after this, we got like, I think three more missions. Yeah, let's just uh, try to maybe breeze through this if possible. I would love to be done at episode 80. Because then me saying like we're halfway there in like around episode 40. Like, yeah, that would be true. <laughs> I haven't been really, I didn't really think we'll be finished this soon. I thought it might take like around 100 parts. Now we're not done yet. Why is it so happy? We're not done yet. I know there's more. Yeah, see, we gotta fight Lilith. I know that's the final boss for sure. And Hulk at some point. I think Hulk first and then uh, Lilith.
sense a disturbance in the force. She's summoning everyone. Go to the common room. Are you seeing this? The mysterious <laughs> Book club? Which I hope Aunt May isn't watching this kind of because she's going to flip. Has suddenly appeared in the war-torn Republic of Transit. We try to stop it, but we screwed up, Robbie. It's okay. You can say it. Doesn't matter who screwed up. What matters is that we're screwed. On every social media outlet with the hashtag Apocalypse Wow. Apocalypse We're Wow. In game now. Oh. That's the Doctor Strange line. We're in the end game now. <laughs> book club. Coming to book club tonight? <laughs> How can we go to book club? In this time of Meet like in these dark times. After you. Okay. Let's do it. So, what's up? Yeah, my plan backfired. Thought choosing a weird book would drive people away. <laughs> Why would you do that? More punch for the rest of us. Oh, <laughs> wow. Why have I not heard of Crash Morgan? I know it's an older book, but this is exactly the kind of story I like. Oh <laughs> my gosh, Wolverine man. Just wants to drive people away. Okay. I thought Logan might bail. But I told him we bring more snacks this time. I have him figured out. Okay. Can we start? Yeah. I am ready. Let's do it. All right, Logan, I need to know. Why did you choose this book? I'll tell you. Just not yet. I want to hear what you thought of this book. It was written in the 1940s, so I expected some repugnant attitudes and phrases. But it surprised me. The writing was simple, yet the story was deeper than it had any right to be. What was your favorite part? It's in the chapter where Crash and the Princess escape the Zorgots. The next morning, they see the sunrise and Mars rising beside it. When the princess asks what the future holds, and Crash just stares at Mars as it eclipses the sun, it gave me chills. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> I haven't read this. I did not pay much attention to that part. How can you not appreciate the doomed romance between Crash Morgan and Princess Anilla? Easy. You root for the Zorgot commander. <laughs> Should have known you'd be a Glato Gorp fan. Anyway, I think the moment gets lost when the Zorgods deploy their Null Stalkers. I don't get why the robot dog didn't warn them. I thought it could talk. Not until number 19, the minefields of the reticulates. It's a whole thing. Got it. So, what's the idea with Crash's promise? What about it? When Crash apprehends Glato Gorp. They have a tense conversation in the back of the fly pod. Crash says there's a way the Zorgots can leave the moon with everything they want, but the princess must take the throne. Then Crash vows that no queen of royal blood shall ever rule Deimos. Glaxogorp agrees, but why? Crash breaks the vow in the next chapter. I have no idea, man. <laughs> there's so many different... Yeah, whenever, like, they bring in a lot of, like, um... You know specific names like the Glaxo Corp and Crash, and now there's a robot dog. Like I do get kind of confused on like understanding the story. Deimos society sounds awful. The Zorgots were right to invade. <laughs> My gosh. You aren't wrong about Deimos society, but the Zorgots went overboard. 
Glaxogorp was the only one Crash could reason with. And how does that tie into the hydro gunfight at the top of the space scraper? Really? You don't see it? <laughs> I do. They're shapeshifters. Who? Crash and Glaxogorp. No. Yep. But then, when do they... The hydro gun fight. Crash gets hit in the helmet and goes down. And what happens whenever Crash is unconscious? The helmet changes color. Turns bronze like the suit. Right. Then Glaxogorp pulls up on the rocket sled and takes Crash and the princess into custody. That's when they make the switch. Crash and Glaxogorp change form. But where do they stash the princess? Does Romut not have a secret compartment? <laughs> Romut. That can barely hold Crash's hydro gun. It's not big enough to secure the princess. Their plan required her to be in Crash's suit. The opaque helmet keeps her safe. So we get to the Dimos Council meeting. The princess refuses the throne and declares her love for Crash, who is the princess in Crash's suit. When they embrace, the false princess deactivates the Magna Manacles binding Crash. But Crash nabs the Star Scepter from the fake princess, activates the suit's zoom vest, and smashes through the monoculus. So, if that's the actual princess, she escapes. But who is the false princess? That's a shape-shifted Glaxogorp. Without the Star Scepter, Deimos can't crown their queen. Right. She never wanted it, and the Zorgots definitely don't want it. Glaxogorp, posing as the princess, can steer Deimos away from war. And when the fake Glaxogorp vows the Star Scepter shall be restored to the princess, that's actually Crash. So Crash oh my made gosh. two vows and broke neither of them. The <laughs> I mean, I'm not really understanding the whole story, ship, but... Actually, Crash returning to the princess so they can escape Deimos. There's so many things got it. <laughs> going on with the shape-shifting. At the beginning of number six. With Crash, man. Intergalactic space weasels. Clever. I like it more. At least that's that's what I think I understand. We'll call it for tonight. Oh, geez, dude, my brain. So, Logan, why did you pick this book? Because oh. it's fun. <laughs> Please. No other reason. Every book doesn't need to be a teachable moment. Fair enough. My book was the best of them. You have only been to two meetings. Yeah, but you know I'm right. <laughs> Dude, I, I love Logan. I almost wish this book was a comic instead. I would have liked to see the monoculus. I thought it was a comic. Like when he, um first described it yeah I thought it was a comic um, Ain't no rest for the in the previous sons. meeting but no it was an actual like textbook mm. you did not mention a book for next time yeah with everything going on I'm gonna put book club on a hiatus until things are less apocalyptic mm. I enjoyed some of it despite the drawbacks Oh, like what? <laughs> the punch. The punch. That wretched bowl of candied bile stains everything it touches. Fruit chunks bobbing like bloated carcasses. Jeez. Blade, it <laughs> haunts my dreams. Don't let Sarah hear you say that. It's her recipe. <laughs> what the heck? I know. Truly, it's only a natural aspect is the color. If not for the fruit, it would be misconstrued as the paint from a fire engine. Fancy words. Sounds like you joined a book club. Well, I'm glad you joined me for all of this. Maybe next time the world is ending, I'll start a sparring club. A sparring club? Is that just training with a fancy name? You saw right through me. On your way out? Yeah. Yeah. I am done. Good meeting. Nice. Ooh, rapid healing. Uh, let's go for this. Let me see the details, by the way. Um, more block. 
Or no, more block, more damage. Okay, let me go for the rapid healing. Even though I'm probably not going to use it. I prefer the, um... The life seal. Maybe it's it's fine to have at least one, because what if he's binded? Then yeah, I can see that working, but I don't know, man. Alright, dream time. Because we saw our mother, you know, <laughs> go down, and now we're gonna question what happened. Alright. You have gone too far, mother. I could say the same to you, child. Leaving me for dead and buried under that mountain. What a way to treat your mother. Next time I will use a bigger mountain. Ooh. Say what you must. But I saw the hesitation in your eyes. Besides, you won't get another chance. The Darkhold is finally complete. The prophecy draws to its close. The Midnight Sun is coming, and with it, him. We will all have our final parts to play. Will you be ready when the curtain rises? When the time comes, my hand will not hesitate. I pray it does not. You have come a long way, child. Standing before me with such... conviction. Such belief. You look a lot like him, you know. What? Wait, I thought we could not talk about him here. Oh, God, no, not him. Him. Your father. <laughs> I have never heard of you speak of him until now. We close upon the end of a billion years prophecy. Forgive me if I'm a bit sentimental. I sometimes wonder if I could bring his soul to this place. To have him stand once more beside me. Beside us. I implore you, do not. In his death, he has been spared the sight of the foul creature you have become. I envy him for that. What? No snappy comeback? Ooh. Promises that we shall be reunited under the glorious eye of the Midnight Sun? No, child. Not this time. Alright. New day? Uh oh, it's closed. Now let's see what she has to say. Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. That is called playing one parent against the other. Oh, I know. And I always gave advice Sarah would have given. If you hadn't both quarreled over every tiny thing. I thought so. Was she there, but invisible? Did she whisper your advice through lost sorceries of the blood? Of course not. Hunter, we spoke about you constantly. The weight of prophecy should never fall on a child. So we tried to give you room to be your own person. I had no idea. Um, what did you want to discuss? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is... Haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. That is true. You're just around. <laughs> I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... Useless. Oh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. I mean, 
Good night. I mean, what else can you, you do? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hunter, I'm coming in. Okay, she knows. Well, shoot. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. Uh, who? I am the only one here. Don't lie to me. Feel free to look around. You're hiding something. Check the wardrobe if you want. Where is Agatha? <laughs> I'm trying to keep my promise. Wanda, we are the only ones here. <sighs> this isn't over. Good night. <laughs> Go back to sleep. All right, guys. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and end it here. Um, yeah, once again, this video will be, uh, I guess this recording will be into two parts because I got so immersed into that that battle there. <laughs> and next time we'll continue. Uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, that'll be it for now, guys. That's game.